Where's the producer? If he doesn't show up for the location shoot today, we're screwed. Last I saw, he was reaching his arm to that vending machine with him behind us. <laughs> He's just right there. And then I heard a rattling and a scream, and then when I turned around, he was gone. Weird. I wonder where he went. You go in there, you'll just see his face is on each one of the bottles in that vending machine, just like in a <laughs> screaming potion. He's like, ah! Helping out on a TV show, huh? I guess that's not something everyone gets to experience. Please, it has to be you. No one else can do this. These guys are so used to begging that they synchronize that. <laughs> The, you think they practice that? Well, they're like, we're going out today. We got to make sure we can get whatever we need in the, <laughs> the most pathetic way possible. Because we have no money, no help. The producer's been missing ever since he tried to get that can of soda out of the vending machine. <laughs> it's Kawaguchi. Delighted to uh, meet you. I'm cameraman. I run the Kawaguchi. Don't mind him. He's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> we didn't hire him for his brains. We hired him for his pathetic begging abilities. Do, do producers seriously dress like this? <laughs> Absolutely. You're a picture perfect producer. Just wait until you go to producer con. You'll see them all looking like that, actually. <laughs> He's correct. They all look like that. Everybody wears this exact outfit and these exact colors. When they run out of those sweaters, the last one is like blood sports. They got to get that last one. <laughs> They, they buy him these clothes and he's just like, okay, Casey. Yeah, yeah second thoughts. Okay, bye. <laughs> and then he goes up to Nishiki and he's like, do I look like a Yakuza now, Nishiki? <laughs> this is Nishiki. <laughs> <laughs> the director is here. Here he comes. Kiri-san, you're up. Try to act natural. Don't worry, he won't notice he's drunk off his ass as usual. Mori-chan. Guten Morgan, baby. Uh, gluten Morgan to you, too. Kiryu, never heard of him. He the real deal, baby. I mean, look at him. Look at his his sense of danger. His voice. Ciao, guten tag and gesundheit. His voice Sushi like... Sushi roll. Yeah. <laughs> sushi roll. Sushi roll. Say. <laughs> is that sushi roll even though he's Japanese? <laughs> wow, it looks delicious, she says, staring at the table. <laughs> it looks delicious. Oh, no, she broke again. Oh, oh, oh no, our old producer knew how to fix this, but he's gone. Oh, we got a factory reset her again. <laughs> oh, God, she's going to need to relearn her lines. It's going to take like a few hours. Okay, so your line is, that looks delicious. That's delicious. That looks delicious. That looks. Oh, God. That delicious. Delicious looks that. <laughs> Closer. Closer. Fantastic. Closer. <laughs> Closer. It's like against her cheek. Closer. <laughs> Closer. All hail the world's best producer. Wow, I could do this professionally. Yo, could you guys shut the fuck up? We're recording over here. <laughs> We're getting your like audio on the mic. <laughs> They're just <Stop>. talking. <laughs> That's a wrap. Let's blow this popsicle stand. The shoot's over, I guess. All right, shut her down. <laughs> they flick her nose. She just turns off. Turns off, falls backwards onto the table and breaks it. <laughs> Clatter. Kiryu's like, that's rad. And then he learns a new move. <laughs> I got a magnetic necklace. Wow. Oh my God. That's going to drain all the negative energy out of your body, Kiryu. You're welcome. <laughs> you you want to get rid of those ions, uh, uh, those negative ions, Kiryu. Replace them with positive ions. Got to drain those bad vibes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Make sure you flush that once you're done, though. If it hangs around, it'll seep back into you. What's going on here? Here's a producer having just recently been licked by a cow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who made you so important that you can treat the producer like this? I'm the producer. I need to get this squared away quick because my cow's waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bessie, I'm coming. Oh, Bessie, <laughs> I'm coming. Thinking of you, baby, says kissing his lips and holding up in the air. <laughs> oh, where did... You pulled that from. Where did he pull that from? Well, I am the henchman of his dweeb, so just take a guess. <laughs> oh, God. He's just a producer, Kiryu. He's fine. This is like the first fight he's ever been in. He was open palm slapping you the whole time. Okay, boys. Production meeting. Let's drill down a plan for some better shows. From the top. What the heck does from the top mean? He says, looking up at the top of the building, of course. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Goddess? All American phone sex. Live 212. <laughs> Kinky fantasies. Bizarre. There's a g g lion like, Ugh, what? Ugh. And what is that poster behind her with the frog and the lizard? Oh, says the girl. <laughs> What is, what is I happening? I didn't realize that merging a, an iguana with a gecko would give me this much euphoria. <laughs> oh, the numbers are downloading into my brain. The formula. The formula. Whoa. <laughs> Meanwhile, random action man to the right is like, oh, mm -hmm. I guess you'll be my next antagonist, he says. <laughs> 
These posters are chronological for the film series. It starts with the main antagonist learning how to become both Iguana and Gecko, and then man faces, and then the next one is just like a crowd view of the previous two movies <laughs> with them pointing me like, oh my god, look at that but, but the But the one with the mad guy has a two on it, and the one with the Iguana and the frog have a, has, a, has a three. Yeah, the three is a countdown. Oh, it's a countdown. You can't read the rest of that title. It's uh, whatever the hell it says, three, as in in three <laughs> seconds, she'll become Iguana. Gecko Queen. <laughs> Baka, that's what she's a friend of you of yours? You got that right. He says his first syllable is just spilling wine out of his mouth. <laughs> oh my god, there's a fourth one coming out, says Baka's getting distracted. <laughs> Look at the posters. <laughs> You're insane. I'm in seriously hot water right now. Are you? Where we don't have a job, we don't have like anything going on. Well yeah, but also like a bunch of people are probably mad at you for not staying loyal to the Tojo clan. I sure you got the green light from Dojima to leave. But you did kick the shit out of Kuze on your way out, and he's probably got minions that are willing to harass you. Well, I mean, we also beat up the whole headquarters, so I suppose. Yeah, but they're like low-level dweebs, as is normal in Tojo Clan, except for you, <laughs> Kiryu Kazuma, Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> that guy we threw out the window might be pretty mad, too. Yeah, but you beat his ass like four times. If he shows up, you'll just beat his ass four more times, and he'll come back like a week later. <laughs> and then we'll beat him up again. <laughs> Am I gonna teach you this lesson, like, middle-aged man, you'll say? Kick his <laughs> Next time he comes back, he's in like a full body cast. With like a knife in his mouth, he's like, come on, I gotcha, come on. Yeah, you got a lot of nerve showing up now. What do you want? I think it's pretty clear what I want. Time to pay your protection money, pal. You got a lot of nerve telling me to pay back my money, pal. <laughs> Not protection money if you don't show up to actually protect me when I need it. You got a lot of nerve telling me that I'm doing business with you, pal. <laughs> I'm not doing business with you, pal. You got a lot of nerve assuming I'm gonna do business with you, pal. <laughs> You got a lot of nerve assuming that I'm talking about something. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, I'm getting sick of your garbage. Shut up. What are they even talking about at this point? <laughs> I think you better keep that attitude, attitude in check, ass. Keep that attitude in check. <laughs> that attitude, yeah. Mind if I cut in? Huh? What do you want? This is our song. Get the f*** out of here. <laughs> you say you opened a shop here because of Tachibana Real Estate forced you out of your last location. That right? You got a lot of nerve using the word force. Shut up and talk to him, says the first guy. <laughs> <laughs> Kiryu's like, is this like a bit that you guys do? What is this? I don't, I don't know what he's doing. He's just like saying it. you got a lot of nerve. I don't get it. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Talk to me. You're talking to me right now. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm out. I'm sick of this garbage. You got a lot of nerve running away. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve running away. <laughs> <laughs> now we can finally talk in peace. You got a lot of nerve thinking that peace is anything I have to offer. <laughs> And then he pulls a gun, and it's like, oh my god. You got a lot of, a lot of nerve pulling a gun on me. You got a lot of nerve thinking this gun's loaded. <laughs> Stack is my favorite. I wish that just said snack. <laughs> just snack. <laughs> what time does this place open? Sorry, you didn't ask me a snack-related question. I'm not allowed to answer this. Got a lot of nerve asking me that. No, that guy's gone. He's gone forever. He's not part of the narrative anymore. <laughs> You looking to buy some snacks or snack accessories? Hmm. Baby. You got a lot of nerve reproducing. <laughs> no, get out of here. You're done. Okay, shut up. They say leaning out of a window. Stop. Shoo. He's just like yelling it through the door. <laughs> now I can start feeding my baby with these dollar bills. They kind of grow up so big and strong. He walks back and he just turns off the little kiss cassette player with the baby <laughs> sounds on it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm going to lean back on my chair and just open my mouth. Just come by with plates and pour it in. Just just everything you have. The entire restaurant. Sir, should I call an ambulance? <laughs> ambulance, Kiryu says. I want you to feed me an entire cow. <laughs> an entire... I don't care. <laughs> it's just mooing in distress. Moo! <laughs> 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 You're gonna get tuckered out before you fight him. <laughs> Can you guys beat my high score of three flips before we get in the barrel? <laughs> hey, Kiryu, uh, Kazuma-san, we already know who you are, and also we'll tell you what you want to know if you get us a springboard for this barrel. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure I could fight a springboard somewhere. What's a pool, says Kiryu. <laughs> What's a pool? Well, I didn't mention pools, so you already know what it is, says the guy. Did you stop bullshitting me and get that springboard? American taste food. American taste food. I just read that damn it twice. Is that what it's called? I love American taste food. Can I get your number one American taste food, please? They've got it three times, actually. Oh, my God. We want to make sure you know that we have American taste food here. Have you ever tasted the food of America? Well, welcome to American taste food. I have tasted the food of America, actually. I've tasted all of America, says Kiryu. <laughs> 
I ate it. <laughs> Every uh, square inch. That's why the economy is so good right now. I ate America. We just replaced it. <laughs> they had to build a new one. They're growing right now. So long as I get back there within the next few years and nothing happens that just takes up my attention, we'll stay dominant. Oops, that's why the bubble popped. Kira, you couldn't get there in time. <laughs> uh, oh, no. The Tojo clan's been going after those properties as well, my friend. Hmm. If a Yakuza type like you waltzes in there like a walrus, something whatever he said. I see, thank you, he says, cutting him halfway through the sentence. I've learned all I need to know. Something, something Yakuza type, something, something walrus, thank you. <laughs> That's the thing walruses do, right? Waltz? Anybody could have a knife for your ribs, Kiryu. Even I could. They'll do you right in a tight fight, my boy Yite. <laughs> Damn, DJ Bacchus, those are some sick bars you just laid down. <laughs> are you, Bacchus? How did you find me here? Well, I heard you keep saying, I have a bounty on my head, I have a bounty on my head. <laughs> so I turned the corner, the corner, I was like, man, maybe this guy has a bounty on his head. I just, just uh, happened to hear overhear you talking about the bounty on your head. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't talk about that so loudly next time. Quit it, you dork. Stop talking about your bounty, says the bounty hunter. <laughs> God, and he turns on the leaves. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, thanks for the advice. See ya. I'm off to find my true bounty, Mr. Shakedown. The okay. next time you find Mr. Shakedown, he has like an empty, <laughs> bone-filled bucket of chicken. <laughs> He's wearing that guy's <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a free smile? She's like, oh, oh, I hate you. Uh. You hear a droopy sound and you see a debuff activate on her. <laughs> <laughs> then when you order food, you get like food poisoning from it. <laughs> Aren't they trying to chase you all out? No. They chased us in, you fool. We have no way to escape. <laughs> Dachibana real estate closes its clutches around all of us. <laughs> We're cornered. Oh. I can't breathe. He says I can't breathe. <gasps> they're, not, they're not here right now. Oh, oh, they are here right now. Whoops. I was going to say that he's having trouble breathing. You look at the rooftop, Ooh. you see Tachibana's like fake hand holding out like he's so <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a force show with his robot hand, yeah. I remember this place. This is where I showered. Why didn't I check here first when I was trying to find Tachibana? Why didn't I check here first? Didn't he give me a business card? You were like at, he like lived there. Why didn't you just come back here and knock on the door and be like, hey, can I talk to Tachibana again? Why didn't he do that? Well, see, we moved the his suite to a different building. We just picked it up and moved in. <laughs> we we had to. He didn't know where they went. We had to move the whole penthouse. Hey, heck off! We don't poly cotton the freaks around these parts. <laughs> Scram, weirdo! <laughs> we sliced the whole top floor of the building off and then carried it over. If you look over there, there's the crane with a special pie slicer we used to do it. <laughs> it's just a big oversized pie slicer. <laughs> No hacking away, a total hacking rookie. Hacking one on one, and he hacking wins. Whoa, watch your fing mouth, Yoda. Damn. <laughs> you gotta be hacking kidding me. <laughs> Kiryu, do you believe in magic? <laughs> magic, magic. Magic, magic, magic. Do you believe in magic, magic? <laughs> You just listen to me mutter that. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> <laughs> While staring off in the city. <laughs> Magic. Magic. He was like, am I supposed to answer now or wait till he's done? <laughs> Magic. 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 <laughs> oh, it was like, oh, no, he got stuck Magic. again. Magic. Ah, oh, heck. One of us has to factory reset him, but if we don't do it right, he'll spin around with his hand and karate chop us in half. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> A dome over this flat earth, Kiryu. The Tojo clan's in charge of it. They're behind it all. The whole, they're in charge of the flat earth. The earth is flat because of them, Kiryu. Magic, magic. Magic. Do you believe in magic, magic. magic. This is stupid, ridiculous stunt he does. Wow, that was a coincidence. I was just trying to swipe away a bug that was flying in my face, Kiryu. <laughs> Maybe I actually am magic. Magic, magic, magic. <laughs> That's why he's holding his hand. He's like, wow, oh my god. I'm looking for a boy, Kiryu. I'm in the market. Will you be that boy? Please be my boy, Kiryu. It depends, Tachibana. Do you have any toys for this boy? <laughs> oh, you'll get all of the best toys if you're my boy. <laughs> Only the best toys for my boy. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> What I wasn't listening. Sorry, say that again. Sorry, I was I was I was worrying about Mr. Shakedown. Hasai Kiryu, he turns around, he's like, okay, Kiryu, do you believe in magic? Magic? <laughs> Can you magic, 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 Mr. Shakedown for me? And then he holds his hand up, but he already blew that wad, so he's like, Well, it doesn't it's not as cool the first second time, but you know, just pretend that it's turning off. <laughs> Look at me, young with my best friend Nishki. My best friend. 
Always, eternally my best friend. How much I appreciate my best friend Nishiki. <laughs> we'll always be friends, me and Nishiki. Every time we meet, we will clasp our hands like Apollo Creed and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger and the character Apollo Creed. <laughs> This j jazz isn't smooth enough. Don't make me bring in the jazz band. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's my sh Yeah, that one song. Yeah. I'm afraid of heights. Maybe we should go back downstairs. <laughs> Why is this only coming up now? Well, I was just following you. I didn't realize we were going up. I'm also really shy. I was scared to say something. You know how I feel about changes in elevation. Whatever, we'll take the log flume down. Come on. <laughs> they just have a log flume. <laughs> it's just a little further. Gonna take a few tokens to get on, though. Oh, oh, but, but, but what if I don't have enough tokens? You were supposed to hit up that token machine for a guy. Oh my god, you're stuck up here now, guy. Oh no. Oh no. Then I'm gonna have the token machine until you get to the bottom of the flume. Ah. Well, I guess I'll just trade them my business briefcase. Wait here, take a number and we'll let you know when the flume is open. Can you believe this guy's never ridden a flume before? <laughs> Everybody point and laugh. Whoa, you never ridden a flume. <laughs> Here's our tablet from the future. Would you like to order everything on the menu? Oh, everything you say. I don't know if we should. Oh, too late. I've already ran my fingers across it. Whoops, looks like you're paying for all of this, boss. <laughs> Oops, my hand slipped. Wait time says three hours for the flume. Guess we'll just spend $100,000 here. Whatever gets me off this top floor, oh god. Uh, 100, 200, 300, I don't care. He keeps glancing over towards the balcony and like cringing. Make a valid point. I guess we'll take the express lane to the special business class flume on the top level. I thought we were already on the top level. Boy, you don't know the top level yet. No. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Now that I'm drunk, I've gone ahead and forgotten my fear of heights. I don't even need the flume. Though I do miss those $500,000 I spent. <laughs> Sir, please stop being a dirtbag. He just pulls out a gun and, like, just points it at him. Don't make me activate my personal discharge field, sir. <laughs> There will be collateral, but that'll be worth it to get rid of you. <laughs> oh, he called my bluff. Shh. That usually works. Where's the flume? You're supposed to deal with this, right? Hold on, here he comes, surfing from the top level. We should get out of here, he says, as if that guy's got to come up here and start threatening them. Quick, let's just use this lady's flower earrings as shurikens to stop this. He'll come. Him. I'm playing the pronoun game. Capital H, capital I, capital M. Is that the lock flume? <laughs> is he the is he the flume? Oh, he flumes real good, don't you worry about it. You haven't begun to see him flume. You will never even understand what the word flume means. You cannot even comprehend the nature of the flume. You some kind of bounce or something about to bounce that ass. <laughs> 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 the floor cr cracks a little bit when he does it. When's the flume gonna open? <laughs> Just the, the guy from upstairs. <laughs> You're gonna come back to his table later since the skeleton stuff. <laughs> You're still charging his card though, because it's still good. Yay! Yay! Yay, me! Hooray, free alcohol. I like alcohol. Yay! <laughs> And fruit trays. Uh, I like it when fruit trays are mixed with. Uh, when's the log flume opening? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. If he if he's covering the fees, that means I can go on the log flume, right? <laughs> log flume says the other guy. He thinks there's actually a log flume. Good <laughs> <laughs> idiot. This is a cabaret club, you stupid dolt. <laughs> what was that? Uh, log flume, yeah. Log flume. Here's this menacing old homeless man. Oh, I left my orange drink here and it got flat again. Damn it. This says Majima. I had to stop and settle that ruckus downstairs and I forgot about my orange drink. Uh, and then I went to get a cigarette. Uh, I thought I hired you to keep my orange drink fizzy. <laughs> Uh, sir, sir, that, how many times have I explained to you that is physically impossible? Excuse me? Straw your mouth. Keep it fizzy. <laughs> he just sits here blowing, <laughs> blowing bubbles. <in it. laughs>